And many of you are starting to get out in the yard and you're planning before the hot summer months hit. Experts say more trees and shrubs are being purchased now after the cold temperatures this past winter killed so many. Caleb Hilliard talked to a botanist today about how you can protect your trees and shrubs and help them survive the summer heat. After the winter freeze, many plants did not survive, and as a result, Memphians are having to replace plants such as azaleas and boxwoods. Botanist Manny Paylette has some tips to help your new plants flourish during these hot summer months. Most shrubs and trees go dormant in the winter, but they have classifications of temperatures, extreme temperatures where they are susceptible to sudden death and or damage. Paylette says the freezing cold temperature this winter compounded with last summer's drought were detrimental to large perennial plants. He says many people may not know their trees could be dead or dying. Here's how you can check your trees and shrubs health. Well, a damaged shrub, you'll have little to no leaves on it. The top would be dead, so you would have to scrape the bark. If you got green under the, the bark, the plant still alive. Paylet says the summer rains are often not enough to keep your larger plants healthy. Regularly watering plants like oak trees and magnolia trees in the summer will increase their chance of survival in the winter. I don't know too many people that went out and watered their oak trees or magnolia trees. You know, a lot of people just probably didn't. That contributes to the decline of a, the trees. Trees will get diseases. As Memphians prepare to replace their azaleas and boxwoods, Paylet offers a planting guide to help your landscaping thrive. When planting, dig a bowl-shaped hole twice as wide and deep as the root bulb. You can also mix in small rocks into the dirt to increase drainage, all to help your plants grow. In Memphis, I'm Caleb Hilliard.